Welcome to the channel. In this tutorial, we will discuss about the false diffusion. And later on, we would compare to different schemes which are first order upwind and second order upwind scheme with the help of ANSYS Fluent. So, let's we have two different uh, fluids at a different temperatures entering. And whenever these fluids enter parallelly, no false diffusion and when these fluids enter or crosses each other the false diffusion phenomena becomes prominent and in this tutorial we would focus on the false diffusion phenomena in which uh, two fluids crosses each other so let's start with the ANSYS fluent So drag the fluent flow open geometry by double clicking on the geometry icon here it is the design modeler look at the plan in sketching draw a simple rectangle set the dimensions set the horizontal dimension equals to one meter similarly the vertical dimension as one meter and then create surface surfaces from sketches select the sketch one apply and then generate here we can see that the surfaces surface has been generated so let's proceed towards the mesh open the mesh by clicking on the mesh icon Insert the sizing, select the, all the edges of the domain, insert the number of divisions equal to 64, set the behavior as hard and insert the face meshing in order to make its structure. Then generate mesh and we can see that the mesh is quite structured. And then name the edges of the domain. Name the left hand side edge as hot inlet, the bottom edge as cold inlet and name the rest of the edges as outlet and press ok and then update the mesh and now open the setup check the double precision ok and then here it is the setup enable the energy equation 
and in boundary condition set the hot inlet velocity magnitude equals to 2 and the temperature equals to 373 Kelvin similarly select the velocity magnitude of cold inlet equals to 2 meter per second and temperature equals to 273 Kelvin and in the solution methods change the momentum schemes as first order upwind similarly for energy as first order upwind initialize the solution you can see that hybrid initialization is done and then run the calculation for 500 number of iterations click on calculate and wait for the solution to be converged so the solution is converged uh, after 63 iterations uh, in graphics we'd like to see the contours check the fill and select the contours of temperature click display here we can see that there is a false diffusion between the hot and cold temperature and the phenomena of false diffusion is quite prominent so now we would save these contours import these contours with the help of camera here it is the camera icon select the jpeg format and save it in any folder rename the file as first order upwind The purpose of all this practice is that we can compare it later on with the second order upwind scheme. So we have saved these contours in our computer drive and then in the solution methods change the momentum scheme as second order upwind scheme similarly for energy scheme. Now again initialize the solution hybrid initialization is done and then run the case for 500 number of iterations so again the solution is converged uh, about after 223 iterations now in contours again display the temperature here we can see that the uh, false diffusion phenomena is disappeared or minimized now we would open the contours of generated comparing both these uh, graphs we can see that first order upwind scheme uh, generated uh, more false diffusion as compared to the second order upwind scheme. So thanks and subscribe the channel.